Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. This will be on 1.1.7 and the syllabus statement states that uh, we have to suggest various types of testing. So first of all, what is testing? Simply put, testing is an investigation of the system with the intention to find flaws, discrepancies or errors in its functioning. So that's testing. And why do we do testing? So we do testing to help catch errors in the development process. So uh, there's lots of different um, types of test data and these might include normal, abnormal, and extreme. Let's say you have a test data of uh, numbers between 1 and 100. So a normal would be, let's say, 57. An abnormal would be like A, B, C, 1,000, uh, 1, 1 billion, like different character types, different uh, data types. You could type like percentage, exclamation, that's part of abnormal. And there's also extreme where it's on the boundary. So you put 1 or you put 100. So during development, programmers probably spend considerably more time testing and debugging. So that's one keyword that we will revisit later. Um, <clears throat> um, the time they actually spend writing the code. So uh, there are different types of, uh, there are different methodologies, methodologies, or classes. Uh, first of all, is which called the black box, and the black box testing means running a program and typing in sample data without reading the programming code. So basically, they they're only concerned about the output. So that's known as the black box. We will revisit later which types <coughs> of testing uh, has the black box methodology. The second of which is called the white box and it means reading the code before and after running the program so they're also concerned about the internal itself and the third one is known as automated testing which means that the computer generates its own test data generates its let's say its own test data um, and, uh, and simulates user input and then checks whether the result match the actual correct result, whether they are actually the same. So the different types are debugging, unit test, uh, beta testing, and acceptance testing. First of all, uh, which is the is the debugging, and this is part of the white box. And I'm sure many of the programmers might. I've heard this term before and it basically means finding errors in a program and correcting them by changing the programmer code so you could do it uh, repeatedly so to find the, the bug as every new bug requires that the entire project be thorough, thoroughly retested and this is because any change in the code can cause new bugs to appear in the program in other parts of the program that's debugging the uh, second method is called unit test and a unit test is basically a test of individual hardware or software units so this is this may take lots of time so it's a specific component that's unit test uh, the third one is called the beta testing beta testing so if you guys play games and maybe you've heard of like minecraft 1.7 beta it's basically an almost finished, not, not yet completed application that is given to a small set of knowledgeable users. So, small set of knowledgeable users. And they, um, who then they, they test the program and they give feedback to them before um, releasing the final game, like Minecraft 1.7. This is known as beta testing. And the last one is acceptance testing. So this is uh, done once the software is finished. And users install and test the software to ensure that it meets their needs. 
Thank you for watching and hopefully this tutorial has helped you.